Hello, welcome to our service of morning prayer for Tuesday the 7th of December 2021 from St. Luke's Church, Ecclesill. Well, actually, the vicarage, of course. Uh, to take part in this service, what you will need is a Bible. Uh, everything else is more or less optional and everything else you'll need is on the video. Uh, but the Bible uh, you will need in your own hand because the service is structured around some breaks in the video which give you the opportunity to read God's word for yourself and to ask yourself uh, what it means for you personally. Uh, so be prepared to put me on hold on the video uh, and please invite God into your own heart by his Holy Spirit that he may inspire you with meaning from today's Bible readings. And we begin with a prayer for doing that. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Stephen picks for us each day a hymn from the Sing Praise Hymn Book. Uh, today's hymn uh, is Praise the One, uh, and it is a number of different things about Jesus uh, which we can give praise to God for. Uh, it's not so set to this tune uh, in the hymn book, uh, but the tune to which it is set has got rather a complicated harmony and I haven't really got enough time to be able to prepare it, so I'm, sing so I'm singing it to a well-known tune in this video. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalms which are set for us to read today are Psalms 56 and 57. As I've said before, typical Davidic paranoia, uh, written by David when he was on the run from Saul, uh, and uh, having both of them uh, a sense of there being somebody out to get me. Uh, but if I put my trust in God, uh, he will be stronger and he will see me through. Uh, here's a metrical version of Psalm 56. Be merciful to me, for they 
twist or life set They conspire and they lurk and they long to see me dead But don't let them escape, bring your anger down on them For I trust you, O oh God, and I turn to you again In God, the Lord, whose word I praise In God I trust, I will not be afraid What can mortal men do to me? And you might like to pause the video and reflect on both those psalms, looking them up in your own Bible. Our Old Testament reading today is in Isaiah chapter 30, it's verses 19 to the end. Uh, please pause the video uh, and read that in your own Bible. You'll see that the first part of that passage was in prose and then the second part from verse 27 is in poetry uh, and it gives reassurance to people that the Lord is going to come and he is going to sort things out. And of course Christians have always seen Jesus as the fulfilment of this promise. If you want you can use the canticle from Isaiah chapter 35 to respond to this passage of scripture and if you want to do that please do it now. And the New Testament reading uh, is in St Matthew's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 13 to the end. Please pause the video and read that now in your own Bible. Well, in this part of his Gospel, Matthew follows Mark's account fairly closely, abbreviating it and highlighting the way that Jesus is indeed the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Uh, it's possible to respond uh, to this with the canticle Benedictus, and as we don't often sing that here in the morning prayer, uh, here's a sung version uh, of that canticle, Blessed is the Lord, the God of Israel. Our 
And so let us pray. Let us approach the Lord our God in faith and in confidence that he can do things that are on our hearts. Our Heavenly Father, we do indeed praise you. Uh, you are the one who gives all good things into our lives, and in the person of your Son, you have come to heal our diseases, to preach the gospel, to bring reassurance to many, and to welcome us into your kingdom. We thank you for all these many benefits that you have given us, and we pray that you would give us thankful hearts, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you, Father, that when things are not going so well, uh, your word promises uh, that you, the Lord God, uh, will return and will put things to rights again. And that Jesus has fulfilled this both in his first coming and also in the second which we look forward to. We pray that you would keep us uh, thankful and anticipating your goodness. And we pray that you would help us to live in the light of your coming again. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And therefore, Father, we put into your hands the things which are on our own hearts at the moment. Please pause the video while you pray privately. We ask that what we have prayed faithfully we would receive in power from you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The collect the special prayer, uh, or one of them, uh, for this week of Advent. Father in heaven, you sent your Son to redeem the world, and will send him again to be our judge. Give us grace to imitate him in his humility and purity, that when he comes again we may be to ready, ready to greet him with joyful love and firm faith. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray the Lord's Prayer together as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so, like the people of Gennesaret, may we recognise Jesus and bring our troubles to him. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.